Welcome to my jigsaw puzzle haul. I got a big stack of uh, jigsaw puzzles here I'm going to show you in just a second and talk about these. Uh, and if you've come to this channel before, then you know we talk about games and puzzles here. Uh, but I haven't talked about jigsaw puzzles. And jigsaw puzzles have been uh, a part of my entire life. When I was younger, uh, we, me and my brothers, we used to do jigsaw puzzles with uh, mom on a fairly regular basis. And as I grew older, you know, on and off throughout my life, I've, uh, I've done jigsaw puzzles and as I've gotten older I find jigsaw puzzles uh, therapeutic um, you know you're, you're very present when you're doing them you're not uh, your mind's not really wandering you're not thinking about a thousand different things you're very present it's creative meditation so it's time for me to give back I'm gonna talk about jigsaw puzzles uh, here on the channel every now and then and I'm gonna start with this jigsaw puzzle haul uh, my daughter and I went out uh, a couple of days ago and uh, there's one street down here I live in South Florida there's one street down here that has a Barnes and Noble a Kmart a Walmart and a Target and we just we were we went on a tear because you can never have enough puzzles, right? And Barnes and Noble, I think until the end of October, has buy one, get one 50 off. Uh, Target had buy one, get one uh, for 35% off, I think. So, uh, you know, I was just thinking of the savings. My daughter goes, Dad, you're getting a lot of puzzles. I go, I'm getting a lot of savings. Savings. 50% off the second one, 30% off another one. So we got a nice uh, little stack here and a couple that uh, we had picked online uh, because again you can never have enough uh, jigsaw puzzles am I right if you're watching this you probably agree so um, so yeah it's time to give back and um, in a couple of weeks I'm gonna have this very interesting exclusive and unique uh, jigsaw puzzle haul so stay tuned for that but let's begin so yeah we went on this tear right and uh and i got some different puzzles here uh let's uh start with this one this one was from barnes and noble and um this is clementonia mi piace molto clementonia it's an italian company and they do quality uh, jigsaw puzzles and i don't usually do picture puzzles but uh i just found this picture uh, attractive and 50% off right uh, you can't go wrong but this is very beautiful I thought it was very beautiful it's a 500 piecer uh, usually I will do 500 piece and a thousand piece puzzles um, depends uh, you know on my mood but both of these are, are fine uh, if you have a more complicated uh, I don't think this will be too complicated maybe the trees here the sky uh, if you have a like a pattern because I like to do patterns I like paintings and if you're doing a more complicated 500 piece puzzle, then, you know, it takes you a little more time. It's, you know, you can really get into it. I don't, uh, you know, I don't compete, okay? I, I, it's not a, a race for me. I try to savor uh, the time that I spent doing uh, jigsaw puzzles. I'm not in a hurry, okay? But yeah, so this 500 piece, I thought is very attractive. Clementoni can't go wrong, right? And, um, you know, buy one, get one 50% off at Barnes & Noble. Uh, I had to uh, pick this up. I thought, I just love that scenery. You know, the cherry blossoms there, the, I guess, Mount Fuji or, you know, but, you know, the snow-capped mountain and the, you get this little, uh, you know, river there. Um, this little creek or canal, right? I don't know. I just found it very attractive, so I had to get it. Now, one of the things I, I, I watch some of these uh, um, jigsaw puzzle haul uh, videos on YouTube because inevitably I end up seeing something that I hadn't seen before. So hopefully you'll see something here you haven't seen before and you'll rush out and get it. Okay. Here's another one we got at uh, Barnes & Noble. I've never done a Thomas Kincaid uh, puzzle before, but we're nearing the holidays, right? And I like this sort of, uh, this sort of, you know, holiday uh, scenery there. Uh, now I cracked uh, this open because I wanted, uh, w I was wondering if maybe the picture was a little brighter uh, on the pieces, but it's not. It's it's kind of subdued like this. Uh, even so, uh, I did enjoy this sort of Victorian. Uh, imagery there and uh, nearing the holidays it's a thousand piecer okay so yeah that'll that'll be fun up in here uh, and in here that'll be fun up in here too uh, but I thought it was interesting and like I said I've never done a Thomas Kincaid puzzle so uh, you know there's a first time for everything there's the there's a the whole picture there 
I thought that was kind of attractive. I love I love the lights in the buildings, right? I really, I love those kind of things. But anyway, this might be a fun one to do. And usually uh, when I finish a puzzle and I have a huge stack from, from the years that I've done them, uh, I, I glue them. I don't hang them up on the wall, but I do glue them and I do keep them stored because every now and then I like to look and go, oh yeah, I remember doing that one. That was a great, oh look, this one is really uh, you know, attractive. This one was great. Oh, this one was super hard, you know. I like that. Now, when I don't like a puzzle very much, I will just, you know, crumple it back up, put it in the box and give it to somebody who will love it, who will enjoy doing it. So we'll see how I feel about this. Uh, like I said, the colors are very subdued, as you can see here. Um, but I like the scenery, so, um, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this one. Uh, the other one, uh, this one was from Target. Now, I don't, the last, I don't remember the last time I did a 300-piece puzzle. Okay, it must have been when I was probably a teenager or, or a kid. Uh, nothing wrong with 300 piece puzzles. I just stick to 500 and 1000 piece puzzles. I've done some 750 piece puzzles as well. And a couple, you know, 2000, 1500. But usually it's 500 uh, to 1000. And I don't remember the last time I did a 300 piece puzzle. But this intrigued me. And by the way, I thought this was a sticker. It's actually printed on there. But you can see the image back here, right? Again. I don't do many photo um, um, jigsaw puzzles, but I found this this picture uh, very attractive. And the concept here, this is uh, this is why I picked this up. Uh, now I don't know, maybe you've heard of this app. It's an app. It's called Calm, and it's a, a meditation app. And and clearly they're combining the two here. It's a mindful puzzle, and you're supposed to do the puzzle as you listen. I don't know if you listen to a specific track on the app. There's some information back here. They give you a, a, a free one-month subscription to this. Now, I find puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, meditative, meditative anyway. Right? Any kind of puzzle, I find it, I find it meditative. Uh, so I'm not sure if you're listening to a specific track here or or you're just listening to uh, tracks in general in this app i'll have to really look into this but it, the concept here intrigued me uh so i picked it up uh, 300 piece uh should be uh, fairly quick to do but i found that interesting right two or three hours now i don't know if it's because you're going to be listening to i really haven't had a chance to look at this um yeah it just says listen and meditate meditate on beauty and immerse yourself in sound this entirely new puzzle experience pairs a stunning scene with related audio from the Calm app. So I guess there's related audio. But two, three hours to do 300 pieces. Uh, granted, you, you might have, you know, slight complications there, but it shouldn't take you two or three. Again, it's not a race. It's not a race, but, you know, still it shouldn't take you that long to do 300 pieces. But maybe if you're listening to the, uh, the meditation app, pick up a piece now. Yes, that one. Place it in the location you think it goes. I don't know. I don't know what, what the app is going to... Or is it, if it, maybe it's just music. I listen to the Beatles nowadays. Recently, I've, listening, uh, I've been listening to the Beatles while I, I do jigsaw puzzles. And I, I've just really been enjoying it. Interesting concept. So I picked it up. Nice picture. Again, I don't do many f uh, photo jigsaw puzzles. We got this from Target as well. Now, of course, I've done uh, Buffalo Puzzles before. If you're watching this, you've done Buffalo Puzzles before. But I've never done an Amy Stewart collection puzzle. My daughter picked this up, and she goes, Wow, Dad, I really like this, because we're, we're doing a gradient puzzle uh, right now. In fact, let's pause for a second. Uh, take a look at this gradient puzzle we're doing. All right, so this is what I've been working on. It's a Clementoni... Um high quality collection thousand piecer and of course these little wrinkles here help right but uh, we got a nice uh, progress here check it out isn't that gorgeous working on the greens now working on the greens and we got some pieces uh, off on the uh, off to the side there but yeah, this is beautiful. Look at that. Clement Tony. Can't go wrong. 
Okay, so uh, back to this here. Uh, yeah, a, a gradient puzzle with these, uh, you know, the watermarks uh, do do help, right? Just like the crinkles there in the puzzle you just saw. But this, uh, this does help. But she showed it to me and I thought, oh, I like that. It's a gradient puzzle, but it's got the, you know, thousand pieces. This should be fun. This is attractive. This should be a lot of fun to do. And Buffalo uh, uh, jigsaw puzzles, can't go wrong with those, right? So uh, gonna gonna try out this Amy Stewart uh, collection here. I thought it, it was cool. My daughter liked it as well. And and Barnes and Noble, another Barnes and Noble. This was very cool. Another 500 piecer. Another holiday uh, theme uh, puzzle. But I thought uh, it, it's it's a foil puzzle. You see these little you know those little things on the boxes on the box there on the cover. Let me show you because you can actually. Let me see if I. I don't know. Let me see if we can see. Uh, you see that? You see? So it, it's got these uh, these golden, uh, you know, they're like golden speckled pieces. You know, kind of like the cover here. So I thought that was, I thought that was pretty cool. A nice holiday um, comes with a, a picture. You know, nice nice holiday uh, themed uh, jigsaw puzzle. So uh, you know, ka-ching! We put it in the car and we brought it home. There you go. I thought that was cool. A uh, winter lights, it's called. A 500-piece puzzle. We got it at uh, Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. This one was at Walmart, I think. This is um, this is interesting. It's a five again a five. I've seen this uh, puzzle uh, as a um, as a 1,000 piece, right? Which would be quite challenging. I think so. This is a 500 piece. I think it's kind of cool. Um, the title here is Almond Tree, uh, but uh, this is a um, this is a um, a Vincent a Vincent Van Gogh. I, I had to look at that. I, I blanked out for a second. I'm sorry. I have another Vincent Van Gogh here. I'm going to show you in just a second. This is Vincent Van Gogh, but it's called I think Blooming Almond Tree. I'm not sure. They're just calling it Almond Tree here. 500 piece puzzle it'll be uh probably good you know uh, 500 pieces with this kind of imagery on there I, I think that's uh that'll be pretty good so um i like the image i like this painting and like i said i've seen it as a thousand i don't i don't own it but i've seen it as a thousand pieces there's a company that makes this uh for th with a thousand pieces but this is 500, as you can read up here, and um, and I like the image, and I wanted to uh, take a crack at it because I like that uh, Vincent Van Gogh painting. It's very nice, isn't it? So yeah, I think we got this at Walmart. I I've lost the uh, track, and I told you I had another Vincent Van Gogh. This was a Barnes and Noble, thousand piecer, right? We got three challenging sections here, but I love this painting. Maybe a little boring for my daughter, but I found it, uh, you know, very meditative, very calming. It's very interesting, even though, like I said, three tough for a thousand piecer sections, right? This is going to be a slight beast there. So is this. And of course, this, the sky, you know, the sky is, but it's got some clouds, right? So it'll, it won't be so bad. This has got a lot of detail. So we'll get through it. We're going to do it. We're going to get through it. But uh, I just love this painting. I, I just think it's beautiful. It's called Wheat Wheat Field with a Lark, okay, by Flame Tree Publishing. Just gorgeous. I thought it was very attractive, and uh, I had to pick that up. I mean, that puzzle finished is going to be beautiful, right? I don't know. I, I think so. So I had to pick this up. And then we got, um, oh, these are so, a couple of internet ones that we got recently. And these, I, I think, you know. I, I think they're beautiful. This is a white mountain puzzle, or did we get this at one of the stores? I can't remember. I know that these last two here we got online. The, a white mountain, right? So if you're watching this, you've done white mountain puzzles. Uh, wow, how serene, right? And beautiful and calming, right? I love that. You know, the, you got the lake and you got a kitty cat right there. And uh, we have we have a cat. We love animals. We love you know we have a dog too. So we you know my daughter saw that. I saw it. I, I really thought it was serene and beautiful, and I wanted to uh, to pick it up. White Mountain Puzzle. Of course, they have a you know a, a ton of others, but uh, but this particular one, uh, what is this called? Forest Lake. 
Forest Lake. I thought it was just beautiful and serene and 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 it's going to be nice to do. It's going to be meditative and calming to do. I, I like that kind of scenery. So there you have that one white mountain and and these two for sure uh, we got online. This is a Euro graphics uh, puzzle. Uh, Euro graphics. This is a thousand piece puzzle, and it's this Nordic morning. I mean. You know, I dream of living in a in a place like this someday. You know, you got the you, know, you can tell that what I, I live in South Florida, so it's always hot here, and I'm really tired of the heat. So this looks like it's nice and and breezy, and cool, right? You got the snow top mountains there, and look at that. I, I'm trying to keep the glare from because I haven't even taken the shrink off this thing, but look at that cottage, right? Oh, I just love that. And then you got that cute little bridge you got a little creek going there wow what great scenery here uh, again the type of place i would just love to you know do they have internet here because if there's internet here uh you know if there's wi-fi i would love to move to a place like this and just live there and you know if even if it's like an hour away from the city i'd be i'd be very happy with that you know i think it's very beautiful uh, yeah, Euro Euro Graphics. Uh, this company. I've done a couple of puzzles from there, from them before. Uh, you know, they have <laughs> some beautiful ones, as you can see here. And this one is the Nordic Morning. Gorgeous. I loved it. So Kaching picked it up. And the last one here uh, is also. Uh, it's like a cottage. It's Truffle, right? I've done a couple of puzzles from Truffle before. And uh, look at this same sort of feeling as the the nordic morning right i mean look look at this this is uh um what is this called what there's no, is this is there no name for this one uh anyway there's no no name for this one but i mean look at that isn't that just gorgeous look at that so peaceful so serene so nice a thousand piecer um truffle i've done uh, I, I think that's how you pronounce it uh, i've done a couple of puzzles from from them before um here's the back of the box they sell uh, worldwide and um it's a big box i thought it was uh, quite attractive the, the scenery there quite peaceful quite serene and uh you know in these hectic times it's really nice to to do a puzzle like that i like to do pattern puzzles uh, paintings you know these type of paintings modern some modern puzzles in uh about two weeks i'm gonna have a uh a, a unique and exclusive puzzle haul uh come back and check that out i hope you saw something here that uh you hadn't been familiar with uh maybe you can go check it out now and that's it yeah this was part of my uh, daughter and i um you know we, we we just we were on a tear we got all of these uh, there were some great discounts barnes and noble uh, target and there you have it that's my uh, jigsaw puzzle haul i'll see you next time